the General Motors Proving Ground near Detroit, Chevrolet engineers use all sorts and types of equipment to find out how much better is the new Chevrolet than Ford or Plymouth. Perhaps with a little daring and some willing friends, you could get roughly the same answer. But rough answers are not for engineers. Even slight inaccuracies and misconceptions bother them. For example, you hear a lot of talk about horsepower, but what really counts is road torque. Twisting power at the rear wheels. And in a well-engineered car, it's the end result of a lot of things besides just horsepower. High engine torque, or twisting power. Smooth, efficient torque multiplication at the transmission. Precisely matched rear axles to take advantage of that power. Better weight distribution to get more weight distributed over the rear wheels for better traction. And a better power to weight ratio, that is, more actual power per pound of car weight. You get all these things in the new Chevrolet. And it all comes out in, well, for example, the power to pull every other full-size car on the market. 16 different makes from a dead start. Not just horsepower, road power. The most effective power at the rear wheel. That's what counts. And that's what the new Chevrolet has. And the proof? Torque talks. Dynamometers measure the torque output of every engine make. A special torque wheel replaces one of the regular rear wheels to measure the actual amount of torque delivered at the road. At all speeds and under all driving conditions, the result shows up on the torque meter. In fuel consumption tests, a device called a burette measures the exact amount of gas used at different speeds. And with split-second accuracy, the electronic time-distance oscillograph measures accelerating ability, automatically printing time, distance, and speed on paper tape. Interpreting the facts and figures gathered from such impersonal test equipment, the engineers take, for them, a very positive stand. Translated, this all means the new Chevrolet can outperform Ford and Plymouth six ways to Sunday. And the proof, again. A kind of match race, but under ideal conditions and using standard performance tests recognized throughout the industry. Three cars from comparable series price-wise and all equipped with standard V8 engines and automatic transmissions. All three drivers are professionals, members of NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, and have no connection with any automotive company. They drew their cars by lot for the first test and will alternate thereafter. And for every test, the same instructions. Leave the transmission in normal drive. Ram the accelerator to the floor. These conditions rule out driver skill as a factor. They leave everything to the cars and the engineering inside them. Are you all ready? Ready for the first test. Accelerating ability. 